Next up, Daniel asks, a third-party application inserts millions of rows to a SQL Server one row at a time. How do I optimize that process if the client code cannot be changed? Oh, this is so funny. Um, I, I was faced with this problem. And he continues, I'm considering using memory optimized non-durable tables and then moving the data to standard ones. The first thing you want to check is what's your weight stat and it's most likely going to be write log. So then what I would do, if the data is, uh, you could restart the process easily, my favorite way to do this is to put the database, in, put that table in a database that's got delayed durability turned on. Delayed durability just lets SQL Server uh, consider the transaction written as soon as the transaction comes in. Um, I love that because it just makes, makes write log completely go away. And if you think that that table can't be moved to another database, sure it can. Just leave a view behind or a synonym that points over to that other object. Um, but I, I don't want to set delayed durability for other tables that do matter. I just only want to set it for that one table. Postgres has the concept of non-logged tables. SQL Server does not. SQL Server just uh, has that delayed durability at the database level. So that's the trick that I would prefer.